A Maryland health officials say a Montana woman visiting that state tested positive for the novel coronavirus. A release from Governor Bullock's office says the woman has not been in Montana since November. However, they say because she is a Montana resident, the CDC classifies it as a Montana case. Little else is known about the patient, only that she's a woman in her 70s from Lake County. We have not yet been told, uh, or according to Hogan's office, the woman had been previously in close contact with a confirmed case. She was taken and then tested at a Maryland hospital. Now, it's important to remember that as of now, no cases have been identified here in Montana. The Montana Department of Public Health and Human Service, Services tracks patients tested and under observation for the novel coronavirus. And to date, they have monitored 30 people with 26 of those cleared. 21 people have been tested. All 21 came back negative for the virus. Travel agencies say they have felt the impacts of coronavirus concerns here at home. But it's not stopping Montana residents from taking to the skies for some much needed R&R. Officials with Travel Cafe say they've seen a 24% decrease in sales just this month. They say clients are choosing to delay trips to countries affected by a travel ban or head to a different destination altogether. We've had more reaccommodations. In other words, if people were going to Italy, they now are making choices to go somewhere else. Um, this particular couple, instead of Italy, decided to go to Jamaica. She says agents are seeing more travel deals to non-restricted countries who are working to attract vacationers. A lot of deals coming up. You know, a lot of uh, discounted uh, deposits, um, cancellations seven days before. If you're interested in traveling at this point, there are wonderful deals out there right now. Baumgart says this isn't the first time Travel Cafe has been affected by global events. Travel Cafe employs 13 agents in Billings, Bozeman, and Missoula with operations in Helena and Great Falls. They have no plans to reduce staff.